In conjunction with the documentary film Life on the Line, filmmakers Jen Gilliman and Sally Rubin set out to work with young Latinos to share their stories and struggles of growing up near the U.S.-Mexico border. We began our three-day workshop with four students from Huntington Beach, California. We were introduced to them through one of our partner organizations, El Viento. Thank you so much for coming to join us for the, the next couple days. Sally and I are working on a film together about a girl named Kimberly Torres who is growing up on the U.S.-Mexico border, but we met a lot of other youth on the border who are dealing with all sorts of different issues with their families and immigration and just trying to get to school is hard for the kids that we were dealing with. So we wanted to give you guys a chance to kind of create your own digital stories this week and we can help you with that whole process. We started by showing them a small piece of our film to give them a better sense of what we were working on. Really close. Following the clip, the students did a short writing exercise to practice telling a personal story. We workshopped ideas with each student and helped them come up with a storyboard and narration for their project. Backgrounds. Mm -hmm. On the second day, we did a photography workshop. They were each given a camera and the task of taking pictures of objects and people that related to their personal story. They brought in pictures and items from home to help bring their digital stories to life. You get, you get total bonus points. Total. Following the photography workshop, we talked through story arcs one last time before recording an interview with each student. On day three, we left the classroom to visit their neighborhood in Huntington Beach. This neighborhood, like, everyone knows each other. It's just that, you know, it, it, can, it can be dangerous at times. Because there's so many gangs here, like, you'll probably see people wearing, like, black, and, like, not everything's, like, so bad. That's what my mom does on the phone. After visiting their neighborhood and getting a better sense of their daily life and struggles, we headed back to the classroom to finish our workshop and say our goodbyes. You guys have so many possibilities, and El Viento is fun. I'm so lucky to be a part of it, and I know Mrs. Enns feels the same way. Um, and I know we have a lot of other kids that have stories that we should get out there and, and show people who, who you are, you know, and, and allow you to share too. It was such an honor to get to work with you all and I'm so happy to have learned more about what it's like to be down here and what it's like to grow up down here. So thank you for opening your hearts and minds a little bit and sharing your stories with us because we really, really appreciate it.